Hello, Aspen and Drone in Nature. Today I'm out testing my GoPro Hero 10. I want to test some different uh, settings, uh, higher resolutions, just to see if you can get any more details. And of course, it's starting to rain now, but I'm only going to shoot with my uh, GoPro Hero 10. I want to test the 5.3K 30. Uh, and I'm also going to shoot in uh, uh, low sharpness, but I also want to test medium sharpness because I see a lot of people that are using GoPro Hero 10 only shoot with the uh, auto settings and I highly recommend of course to shoot in uh, with low sharpness and add sharpness in post. So I just want to test it today myself and see the difference. I'm going to shoot with low sharpness and add sharpness in post and I want to show the footage side by side with low sharpness, add sharpness and also medium sharpness uh, directly from the from the GoPro. I'm going to shoot in natural color profile because I think that color profile looks really really good. Uh, I don't want to use vibrant and I'm not shooting in flat but we're going to see if you can see a big difference between 5.3k and 4k and 30 and 60 fps if I don't <laughs> drain my battery too fast. I want to test it and of course it's raining but that's a good test. This is an action camera so it should be excellent to test it in uh, raining conditions. So let's start and, uh, and see how this looks like. Yeah guys, then we started. Uh, this is 5.3k 30 frames in wide. I set the sharpness to low. Just want to show you how it looks with and without sharpness but this is low and I'm gonna add sharpness in post. Uh, I just want to see how good the image quality actually is with 5.3K. I see some people that have some overheating issues with this camera shooting in higher resolution and higher frame rates. 5.3K isn't the highest. You can shoot up to 60 frames. But this is natural color profile. 5.3K, sharpness low, EV comp set to zero, minus 0 0.5. Stabilization is set to high, not boost, because it crops in a bit. We're now going to turn to medium sharpness in the same settings, just to see if there are any difference. And as I said, this is 5.3K, 30 frames, natural color profile. Let's change to medium sharpness and see how that looks like. Okay guys, this is the same setting, 5.3k, 30 frames. I set the sharpness to medium. That's when you start your GoPro for the first time. That's the auto settings from GoPro. But in my opinion, this is too sharp. I think it's much, much better to add sharpness in post. Uh, then you can do your tweaking just right. But this is medium sharpness, straight from the GoPro camera. Uh, wide angle 5.3k let's change now to 60 frames just to see the only positive thing with 60 frames is that the image i think will look a little bit more uh, smooth but uh but first i'm going to test uh 5.3k i'm going to film the leaves and the grass and everything and you can see if you can see any <clears throat> big difference in the details so let's do that first 5.3k 30 frames filming the leaves watch out for details we're gonna first shoot in medium sharpness and then I'm gonna shoot in low sharpness so you can see if there are any big difference I'm also gonna add sharpness in post so we can see medium sharpness from the GoPro camera and adding sharpness in post okay guys this is medium sharpness from the GoPro I'm filming the grass and the leaves. We call it uh, Ormeblad worm blade. Um, this is wide. Uh, Hyper smooth set to high, not boost. See if you can see any big difference in the details. I'm gonna uh, add uh, the photo side by side in post. You can see the difference between low and and. Uh, high or medium sharpness just to see how the details are side by side so let's do that i'm going to walk the same same path so we can see the difference 
and I'm gonna add sharpness in post. Okay guys, this is the exact same uh, path I'm walking, sharpness set to low. Uh, see side by side how low and medium sharpness looks like. And I'm also gonna add uh, sharpness added in post, so you can see that side by side. Which one looks better, adding sharpness in post or medium sharpness on the GoPro. See how the details are, I'm walking normal. Uh, hyper smooth set to high, 5.3k, 60 frames. This is uh, fantastic just to see how the image looks like, 5.3k. Okay guys, this is the exact same uh, path I'm walking, sharpness set to low. Uh, see side by side how low and medium sharpness looks like. And I'm also gonna add uh, sharpness added in post, so you can see that side by side. Which one looks better, adding sharpness in post or medium sharpness on the GoPro. See how the details are, I'm walking normal. Uh, hyper smooth set to high, 5.3k, 60 frames. This is uh, fantastic just to see how the image looks like, 5.3k. Okay guys, this is the exact same uh, path I'm walking, sharpness set to low. Uh, see side by side how low and medium sharpness looks like. And I'm also gonna add uh, sharpness added in post, so you can see that side by side. Which one looks better, adding sharpness in post or medium sharpness on the GoPro. See how the details are, I'm walking normal uh, hyper smooth set to high 5.3k 60 frames this is uh, fantastic just to see how the image looks like 5.3k okay guys this is 4k 30 frames super view and i set the sharpness to low and see if there is a major difference between 4k and 5.3k i must be honest in most uh, situations I'm gonna shoot in 4k 30 I don't see any reason for me to shoot in 5.3k but always nice to see if there are a massive image difference in the quality this is natural color profile low sharpness 4k 30 super view and let's add some sharpness in post also side by side but we're also gonna shoot in medium sharpness okay guys still 4k 30 super view but this is with medium sharpness just want to see the image side by side in low sharpness and medium sharp sharpness and also post edit sharpness which one looks better i highly recommend shooting in low sharpness you can add the sharpness you want this is super view 4k 30 ISO set to minimum 100, maximum 800. But how does the footage look like? Hyper smooth is set to high, not boost. Okay guys, this is 4K 30 frames, super view, and I set the sharpness to low. And see if there is a major difference between 4K and 5.3K. I must be honest, in most uh, situations I'm going to shoot in 4K 30. I don't see any reason for me to shoot in 5.3K. But always nice to see if there are massive image difference in the quality. This is natural color profile, low sharpness, 4K 30, super view. And let's add some sharpness in post also, side by side, but we're also going to shoot in medium sharpness. Okay guys, still 4K30, super view, but this is with medium sharpness. Just want to see the image side by side, in low sharpness and medium sharp sharpness, and also post edit sharpness. Which one looks better? I highly recommend shooting. In low sharpness you can add the sharpness you want 
This is super view, 4K30. ISO set to minimum 100, maximum 800. The whole rest of the footage looks like. Hyper smooth is set to high, not boost. That was just a quick test, uh, testing 5.3K, uh, 30 frames in low sharpness and post sharpness, also post edit sharpness, but also uh, medium sharpness in 4K and 5.3K. Just fun to test it. I'm filming now in 5.3K. I just want to see how good actually the image quality is. Uh, I'm not going to shoot in this mode. I think, depend on the quality, it's really overcast today, I set the white balance to auto, but uh, the ISO is set to minimum 100 and maximum 800. And how is the image, does it look any good, 5.3k, 30 frames, so far I really like this camera, but like I said, I highly recommend shooting with low sharpness. I think the image looks too digital and medium sharpness. So the first thing you should do when you're starting shooting with your GoPro is to change that to low sharpness. You can do that in Portune on the settings. It's much easier to add sharpness in post and it looks much, much better. But also set your ISO to a minimum 100 to 800, maybe maximum 1600, depending on which time of day you shoot, of course. Uh, in 5.3K, you can only shoot in wide mode, but it's wide enough. You don't have the super view. And you can, of course, set the hyper smooth to boost, but then it crops in pretty much. But so far, this camera has been excellent and it's raining now. But this is a good way to test the camera. I'm shooting, shooting in natural color profile. I really like that color profile. I don't want to bother too much with color grading. And vibrant is too, looks too strange especially when you're talking to the camera. So yeah, great day in Norway. It's raining, it's four o'clock now. I'm going back and I'm gonna make some dinner. But so far I'm really happy with this camera. So um, I really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next one. I'm just gonna turn the camera so you can see how the details looks like. 5.3k with this camera so let's turn the camera and see like that um, I'm walking normal now uh, not fast at all but does it look crisp and nice this is uh, low sharpness but I'm always adding some sharpness in post I used DaVinci Resolve 17, that's the best editor, I think, especially for me. It's not that hard to learn, now. and you can get the free version. Then you have almost 90% of all you need. I don't see any reason spending money on Premiere Pro, it's way too expensive. And. Uh, the Vinci Resolve, in my opinion, is better. But if you have the money, I highly recommend buying it. The studio version is only one-time payment and all upgrades are free. You pay $299. That's not expensive at all. Thinking about that you're paying over $20 each month for Premiere Pro, when we all know that that program is crashing all the time. So, and if you like color grading, then DaVinci Resolve is a must, in my opinion. I think everybody that are good in Premiere Pro are using 
DaVinci Resolve for color grading, so I don't see why they're not using DaVinci Resolve all the time. So who are the details in 5.3K? Is it beautiful? The colors are a little bit gray now, it's overcast and raining. It's always fun to see what it looks like. And so far it hasn't overheat. But the battery is draining really fast. Hey guys, that was a short test for me, so I really hope you enjoy it and of course subscribe to my channel for more. I'm gonna do this a lot. Can't wait to travel more and film a lot more with this camera. Excellent camera, so I uh, see you on the next one. 